One of the most common cases in reading files is tokenized text. For example, comma delimited files where you get lines of text separated by commas, spaces, tabs, or other characters. Java has a class that handles this automatically called the scanner class. I'll demonstrate this in a project called scanning text where I have two files, textfile.txt, which has simple text with spaces between words, and tokenized text.txt, which uses commas to separate the words. I'll start in this main class, which has the same sort of code I've used previously, using a buffered reader and a buffered writer. For this demo, I won't need the writer objects. I'm going to read the text one word at a time and output it to the system console. So I'll delete the line that creates the writer, and I'll remove the import statements that refer to the writer objects. Now, within the try clause, I'll create a new instance of the scanner class. I'll data type it as scanner and call it s, and I'll instantiate it with new scanner. Then, I'll wrap it inside the buffered reader that I've already created. Instead of calling the buffered reader's methods directly, I'll be passing the buffered reader through the scanner. I'll make sure that I have an import statement for the scanner class, and you'll see that it's not a member of java.io, but instead a member of the java.util package. Now, when you scan, you're going to be reading one section of text at a time, separated by tokens. And the default separating token is a space character. So, to read the first file, textfile.txt, I'm going to remove the int variable. I won't need that. And then I'll change the condition for my while clause to s.hasNext. The syntax for the scanner is very similar to an iterator. You call hasNext to determine whether there's any more content to read, and then you can call the next method to get the next segment of content. You'll see that there are versions of the hasNext method for simple strings, for patterns, for decimals, integers, bytes, doubles, floats, and so on. I'll be using the simplest form of the hasNext method. Now, within the while loop, if there's any more content to read, I'll grab it using the next method and then output it to the console. I'll use system output, and I'll output s.next. And notice that just like hasNext, there are multiple versions of the next method. The default next method returns a string, but you can also get next boolean, next double, and so on, and these methods serve to automatically cast values to their correct data types. I'll save my changes, and I'll take a look at this warning, and it tells me that the IO exception class, which I was catching previously when I was using the buffered reader methods, can't be reached with the scanner method. So I'll clean up the code, removing that catch section, and then cleaning up my imports. And that greatly simplifies the code. Now I'm ready to scan the text. I'll run the application, and I'm grabbing the text one tokenized segment at a time and outputting that text to the console. Now let's take a look at how to use different tokens. As I mentioned, the default token is a space character. But let's say you wanted to look at text that had comma separators. Before you scan, you can set the token like this. I'll call s.useDelimiter, and you can pass in a string pattern. Take a look at the documentation for variations on the string pattern, but for a very simple pattern, I'll just pass in a comma wrapped in quotes. I'll also change the name of the file that I'm going to be reading from textfile.txt to tokenized text.txt. And that's this file where the words are separated with commas. I'll run the application again, and I once again see the words output in the system console one word per line. But now I'm reading text separated with commas instead of spaces. The scanner class can be used to easily read this sort of tokenized text and it works well to read very large files, grab the text from those files already separated, and then process the text as needed in your application.